So when it comes time for you to buy that cordless tool that you've been eyeing up for so long, you're gonna be in your favorite home center, you're gonna be walking down that aisle, and information's gonna be flying all over the place at you. What's important? Well, first of all, you wanna look at the battery size, but in addition to that, you're probably gonna to wanna to look at how long that battery takes to charge. This has been debated online forever, over and over again. So I decided it was time to put an end to it, and I've collected seven of the largest lithium batteries for cordless tools that you can find. What I've done is I've depleted these batteries completely down to nothing. I've connected them all up. I'm gonna run a timer. I'm gonna see how long each battery takes to charge. Before I do that, I'll walk you through each battery and then we'll get to the test. So the first battery I have in my lineup is the Covalt 80 volt two amp battery. This is the highest voltage battery in the test today. Next to that is the Ego 56 volt 2.5 amp. This is on the standard charger. Moving along, the Greenworks 60 volt 2.5 amp made by the same manufacturer who makes the cobalt battery. The Dewalt battery is a 40 volt 4 amp battery right there. And then comes the Monster. This is the Ego 56 volt 5 amp battery. It's huge. It's being charged on a rapid charger. And then comes a little baby right next to that. This is the Ryobi 40 volt 3 amp. And finally is the Echo 58 volt 2.0 amp battery. When I hit this button, the test begins. No whammies. If I could save time in a bottle, the first thing that I'd like to do is to save every day till eternity passes away just to spend them with you if i could make days last forever if words could make wishes come true all right so i'm approaching the hour and a half mark and i can tell you this has been riveting but the deal is this, I am really impressed at how fast the cobalt charge, this is the 80 volt two amp, it did it in exactly 30 minutes. Next up was the Echo. They claim to be charging in 30 minutes on their box. This battery charged in about 38 minutes, so it's a little longer, so they might've stretched uh, that a little bit. Next up, we had the Ego 2.5, uh, 56 volt 2.5 amp battery. It was in about 40 minutes, but I think in the speed charger, the rapid charger from Ego, you would have been able to do it in about 20 minutes. I think from there we went, and this was pretty impressive as well, the Ego uh, 56 volt 5 amp, the largest battery I have up here was about 50 minutes. And then I waited a long time for the Greenworks to come around. The Dewalt was like an hour and 20 minutes, not fast enough nearly. And the Ryobi still going. At this point, you get it. It's an hour and a half. Um, it's probably gonna take about an hour and 45 to two hours to fully charge that battery. So cycling through that battery fast is probably not a reality. All in all, good test. And make sure you subscribe, make comments, check out all my other content, and I'll see you around real soon.